Hi, my name is Victor Sho, and what I'm going to explain to you right now is the difference between threes, fours, fives, and sixes. Now, once again, this is not a universal language. This is pretty much what my player, what my step dance company, the players, use as a form of a language to explain to our students when we're teaching them. Okay? So, this is our style. So basically, threes, some people call them triplets. I call them threes. Um, you uh, basically are, this is a three right here. A four would be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. A five is one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And the six is just as simple as it sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So these are the synchronization of hand claps and body hits. We call them threes, fours, and fives. There's no stomping in between them. So now the thing with this is that these patterns can continue. However, the rhythm is what changes the beat and makes it different. So I can do a three like this, or those are all three different beats. And the same thing I can apply with a five. So you just got to understand that it's the same kind of formation, same pattern of hits. However, the way you hit it and the rhythm that you use to hit it is what variates those different kind of movements. Okay, so those are threes, fours, fives, and sixes.